behalf of Key Realm, I would like to welcome you to the Sistine Chapel. My name is Mark Manser, and let me be your guide just for a few moments here in the Sistine Chapel this evening. At a distance of some 500 years, the breathtaking ceiling of Michelangelo still dominates the splendid church and much of the art world. Yet, we are here today not to explore this glorious interpretation of Genesis. Instead, we have the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience the masterpieces of perhaps his most viable competitor, the painter Raphael. The artwork in question are seven glorious tapestries commissioned by Pope Leo X for this very church. These elaborate wall hangings tell the stories of St. Peter and St. Paul and decorated the church on the most solemn occasions but have not been on display here since Raphael's 500th birthday in 1983. I am the director of the Vatican Museums and here we are inside the Vatican Museums. Today we are allowing for four tapestries designed by Raffaello for this place, for the Cappella Sistina, to be displayed in London at the Victoria and Albert Museum because the Victoria and Albert Museum has in property the original cartoons from which tapestries by Raffaello were made. A large design drawing was called a cartone. Um, we can see that the cartoons seem to be in large part by Raffaello's hand. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to imagine him with the design drawing and his uh, very expert assistants. He would sort of, they would take the drawing, they would enlarge it. Mm -hmm. And then you can imagine Raphael painting a head, say, and then coming back saying, no, no, no. Don't do it like that, do it like this, you know. Mm -hmm. And because he was such an extraordinary draftsman and painter, mm -hmm. such a fluent artist, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, some of these heads have immense vigor. The tapestry's colorful wool and silk and their gold and silver highlights strike the viewer still today. They were woven in the famed workshop of Peter van Alst in Brussels. Here, expert weavers divided Raphael's cartoons into strips, which they slid into the loom following his drawings perfectly through the threads. As the weaving was done from the back, the resulting image became the reverse of the original. Ma a me genera abbastanza emozione anche la cosiddetto fascio vesmeas o consegna delle chiavi come più conosciuto. Mm -hmm. E' proprio quelle mani di Cristo che indicano uh, sia la figura di Pietro sia le sue pecorelle. Mm -hmm. Mi dà un mandato preciso e, e Pietro che stringe in mano queste chiavi mm -hmm. e quindi si eh, ricorda eh, l'altro mandato, quello che lui ha ricevuto prima ehm, e che e poi è rappresentato nella stessa Sistina. Quindi c'è un collegamento tra quelle che sono le scene superiori dei quattrocentisti, quindi abbiamo la consegna delle chiavi eh, del Perugino e qui abbiamo questa eh, seconda scena con queste stelle che sono un'interpretazione molto probabilmente degli agazzieri, perché noi nel cartone non li abbiamo. Queste stelle d'oro fatte tutte con una tecnica che si chiama rilievo, quindi non prendendo la tessitura normale, ma facendo, prendendo due fili invece di uno in modo da fare simulare proprio il ricamo. To truly appreciate the tapestry's beauty and magical woven effects, Key Rome suggests you experience the exhibition yourself. We hope to run into you at the show in London, which runs from September 8th to October 17th at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Once you've enjoyed the exhibition, we hope you will share your thoughts and comments on our website. On your next visit to the Eternal City, we hope you will join us for a group or private tour and explore more of the Sistine Chapel, the Vatican, and the glories that are Rome. Your exhibition will be a splendid occasion, will be absolutely unforgettable. This is my opinion and I am very proud of this splendid occasion.